What's going on guys, this is Astrum Sensei and welcome back to Let's Create an Action Role Playing Game using Unreal Engine 4. So before we get started, I actually want to tell you that um, several of you guys asked me to create a Discord server for um, this tutorial series' community and my channel's community. So I actually started the Discord server, I called it Astrum Sensei Game Developers game devs join forces now i will place the invitation link in the description and in the comments if you guys want to join and you know this is where we discuss a lot of stuff about game development and um, there's a channel in it dedicated to this um, tutorial series so that you can guys you guys can ask the questions and either me or someone else from the community will answer you and help you with your problem so yeah make sure to join because it's gonna be awesome yeah let's get started so in the previous video we added blocking and um, like only the blocking animation so let's check it out okay we press the what was the blocking button mm. tab nope oh space okay so yeah we created blocking with the space bar and so far it's great in the next video uh, in this video we're actually going to start working on the enemy ai and even like you can make AI enemies and npcs from what we're gonna do in this episode so yeah i really hope you guys are looking forward to it so yeah let's get started so what i want to start with is um this bp base um blueprint class which we've created and have been working mostly on uh, for the entire series what we're gonna do is we're going to right click on it and create a child blueprint class and uh, I'm just gonna name it BP player now this is gonna be our player blueprint instead of that one from now on and um yeah for now it's great it's all great <sighs> what we want to do next is we want to go to world settings and here default pawn instead of uh, def default pawn class instead of bp base we're gonna go with bp player and uh, so far it's just a copy but but right now when we edit this one it's not gonna ed get edited here and um, I think the opposite applies to some cases but not all of them so um, yeah for now um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just ignore everything and to show you that it still works right now we're using not the BP base we're using the BP player and uh, it's the exact same thing so everything still works so yeah now we're gonna create a new folder inside the blueprints folder and I'm just gonna call it AI mm, maybe NPC AI I don't know let's just call it AI for now and inside what I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna create a blueprint class and I'm going to search for AI controller now we can e either use this one or this one, but this one's a bit more advanced, so I'm just gonna go with this one. And I'm going to call it NPC AI. We're gonna use this for both NPCs and enemies, and we're gonna work on that later. For now, we're just gonna add um, NPCs that walk around and stuff, but uh, we're gonna turn them into enemies later in, in the next video, so yeah, let's. I mean, look forward to that, please. Now, again, inside the enemy AI, in inside the AI folder, I'm going to create a blueprint interface. Wait, we don't create it this way. Blueprints, blueprint interface, and I'm going to call it um, NPC AI enter face and inside of it I'm going to create a new function I'm gonna call it go 
to location. Now we're using a different method than the one popular online. Um, I also got this like from another tutorial, but uh, like it was the only tutorial on YouTube that uh, used this method and uh, I really thought it was great. So I'm just going to go with that way. Uh, I found it much better and uh, simpler than the other method which everyone uses which is the behavior trees uh, we're not gonna be using that for now by the way guys I'm really sorry about my loud computers um, fan noise um, I don't know why um, it's making a lot of noise today but uh, yeah it usually happens when I'm unreal is on so excuse me for that so yeah let's continue so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to NPC AI. What did I do? Okay, I messed something up. Um, Openful Blueprint Editor. Okay, and I'm gonna go to Class Settings and add our Blueprint Interface, which is NPC AI Interface. And I'm gonna compile. Uh, then you wanna go back to NPC AI Interface because there's something I forgot to do, which is add an input for it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, a target location input, which is a vector. And that's it. I'm just going to compile and save. And over here, back in NPC AI, I'm going to create a go to location event, event go to location. And I'm going to, you want to drag out a new node so when this event is on you want this to happen which is move to ai move to and over here now you want to connect this to this one but first what you want to do is you want to now when you the destination and the target location with them connected there's no point to it so what you want to do is you want to get a random reachable point in radius and you want to connect them like this that way you have a point you want to go to and over here i'm just going to make it um 300 and over here also 300 and if it fails, you want to delay and you want, then you want to repeat. So if the character gets a location that he can't get to, he will stand for two seconds, he will realize it and he will go back and do and get another new location. So I'm going to add a delay. Oh my god, the microphone is so large in my face, like I can't look at the keyboard, so I'm very sorry about that. Um, th three seconds delay, and when it's completed, what you want to do is restart. I'm going to add a reroute node, so that it doesn't get um, messy around here. And before we do an on success, what we're gonna do is you want to go to event begin play and you want to drag out and create go to location now this is the actual um, thing it's uh, it happens as soon as um, you start your game and as for the target location, what you want to do is you want to get a random reachable point in radius and the origin will be... Wait, before we do, we start here with get controlled pawn and the return value is get actor location and you connect that to origin and for, for the radius I'm just gonna do 600 now you wanna go back to this one and 
what you want to do is on success you want to do this one and I think that's it for now let's try it out so um, I think there's still something missing uh, but first before we actually test it we actually forgot to assign the AI to the um, character so what you want to do is over here where is it over here the AI controller class it will be NPC AI and that way it's assigned to our character so now we can actually test it but also if you actually do test it it's actually not gonna work because there is no nav mesh bounds in our um, level so we're just simply gonna type nav mesh bounds volume in our here we're here in the search and just drag it and drop it and now this is the one minute I want it close this is the radius that your character can walk in Oh, game modes, on, uh, game modes turned on. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, where is it? One minute. There is a way to see it. Mm, where is it? Where is it? Okay, I couldn't find it. I'm a loser. <laughs> so, anyway, what you're gonna do is you wanna make it as large as you can. So, hmm. Um, for the X, I'm gonna go with 3000. No, this is the location. What you wanna go, what you wanna edit is the scale. So I'm gonna make it 3000. As you can see, it's quite big. And the Y will be also 3000. That way, it covers the entire level. And as you can see, our NPC is actually running around and walking now it's only running so what you want to do is actually we want our NPC to walk instead of run so let me try something I'm not sure if it will work immediately because I haven't really okay cancelled we've made it too big we don't want to consume our computer's power with the building AI so I'm actually gonna change the size down a bit it's way too large maybe 500 by 500 no it's still too large 300 100 yeah that's great by 100 actually by 50 yeah okay it can still be smaller oh my god okay 20 by 20 no by 30 by 50 okay and I'm just gonna drag it like that okay now yeah what I was saying is we want our we want our character to start by walking so I think for now we just can we can just disable the running um, tick over here and let's see if it works no our character is still uh, running you know what for now it's fine um, because I really have to end this episode right now because I'm very busy today but uh, yeah so far it's it's all great it's exactly as intended and we can actually create as many copies as we want in the next video we might actually um, change the character mesh and animations for our enemy which will be quite fun because uh, it's no fun when your 
char other character well, when all the characters in your game are the same person so we're gonna find like some new enemy in mixamo.com and we're gonna create uh, we're gonna add them to the enemy blueprint class so I really hope you guys are looking forward to that um, we're also later gonna make um, we're gonna make them attack and we're gonna make them block so yeah I really hope you guys are looking forward to that uh, thank you for watching and I really hope I helped make sure to save because if you lose our progress come on that will suck so yeah make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're if you enjoyed it and uh, don't forget to join my discord because um, it's no fun when it's empty uh, yeah guys see you on the next video take care